So far we've explored two different variable types, but now we're going to introduce a third type and are going to be going over some basic rules about how and where to use them. The first variable we learned was in our greeting equals hello world example. In this example, we created a variable called a string. A string is simply a sequence of characters. Let's take a look at two pieces of code and see how they treat strings differently. x equals 5, y equals 6, print x plus y. x equals quotation 5, y equals quotation marks 6, print x plus y. In the first example, it simply puts the number 5 in the variable x and puts the number 6 into the variable y. When it prints, it adds these two numbers to give an answer of 11. In the second example, we have the character or string 5 that we're adding to the character or string 6. By adding these together, we simply put the two characters one after the other. It would be no different than adding the character R and the character K to give us RK, or the character Cat and the character Fish to give us Catfish. The first example used another variable type called an int, or integer. This is any whole number. In order to use decimal numbers, we use a third variable type called a float. These are the main variable types we'll be exploring, although there are many more, like lists, files, and others that we'll be looking at later in this unit.